What's up guys? Welcome back to Oregon Fishing Adventures. Today I'm out here with my buddy John and we are out here chasing those winter steelhead. Um, river's looking pretty good today. We got pretty good clarity. Looks like we got at least like probably three feet or so of visibility in the water today. Uh, definitely lots of snow on the banks, lots of snow on the pass. So we're out here pretty early. We're gonna grind it out today and we're just gonna see what we can find. I'm gonna get things started off with the bead rod and uh, We'll see if we can't connect with the fish today. All right, let's go, guys. You gotta change up your leader. This is so. the leader that came with this rod. You know the one that. So he just hit? he just lost a fish already. First thing of the day. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. I missed it, but he had a fly tied to this. That's a nice looking fish. And it was bro. literally right there. And uh, yeah, took his fly and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting way to start the day, dude. We haven't even been here for like 10 minutes. What the fuck? <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, so I guess we're getting things started off with a bang today. My friend John hooking and losing one first thing. Barely been here like a couple minutes. Well, we just gotta keep trying. <laughs> I mean, if we have fish showing up like that already, they're definitely here. Yeah, oh, have you even caught a fish on that rod yet? Look at the snow coming down. Dude, that looks crazy. All the snow coming down right now. Huh? That's right. The definition of winter steel lighting. Setup's got a little tangled there. Damn. Snow just pounding the water. <laughs> there you go. Oh, too close. 
Wow, what a cool day to be out here, though. Definitely a cold day out here with all this snow. It says we're supposed to have snow until about 11. Weatherman lied last night, dude. Huh? Fucking weatherman lied last night. Like I don't even expect to be in the super early. Yeah. Well, that, advi that weather advisory I was looking out for out here said that uh, they were expecting snow in this area till 11 a.m. And then it's supposed to clear up. So, probably still have a couple more hours that we might see some, might see some snow and then we'll hopefully get a break. I'm super thankful for these nitrile gloves right now though. <laughs> My hands would be so much colder if I didn't have these on. And they'd be soaking wet too. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take this worm off and put a jig on. I think so. I think so. Alrighty. Got a nightmare jig tied on. Let's see if this will do it today. Got some pretty big flakes in the snow now. Big old flake just dropped on my camera. All right. Well, I think it's about time to start trekking up to that other spot. Walking through the winter wonderland. Oh, okay. Dang. Yeah, so this is one of the spots right here that Paul hooked up with too. But you can see in it pretty well. And I don't see anything really sitting there today. So we'll go up here to the deadline. Look at all that snow on the ground right here. Dang. All right. are cold that's for sure such a cool perspective of like just I don't know I've been out here in the snow this year several times but I haven't been out here 
fishing while it's actually snowing like this. I've just been out here with snow on the ground. on guys on the spinner bro can you uh reset up my net i literally just put it back down uh, i decided to check a spinner through here before we were about to leave we got hooked up he's right here in front of me it's okay it's all right let him go let him go let him go it's okay oh, okay Right there, right in the... Oh! Lost him. <laughs> Bro! That's okay. I don't even care. That was on my custom spinner, dude. This is my custom violet white. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that was a chromer, too. I totally... I. You probably could have scooped that fish when it was in front of you. I was just like, it's fine. Just let it go. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to jump on it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was on what I said was the last cast, too. I was like, last cast. And then, poof. Jesus Christ. That was nice, though. <laughs> I gotta see it though. It was right in front of me at my feet, like literally right here. Okay. Dude, that's so cool because I've never caught a fish on this spinner before. And I tied it on because I was like, you know, I really want to catch a fish on this spinner before the end of the season. And I, you know, I consider that I caught a fish on the spinner. Didn't land it, but she was right here in front of me. We had the opportunity. I just wanted her to run and See if I can get a good fight out of it. But it's possible that if we take a break and come back, that fish will still be in here holding. All right, let's give this a shot. the beads before we change spots even though we're not going very far
We're just going to cover this pocket. We're just talking to the camera. We're going to cover this pocket and work down to this little island. Right there. Mm-hmm. Let's try a spinner. All right, guys, we're gonna end it out here. Thanks for coming along with us today. It was cool that we got to hook up with a fish on one of my custom color spinners today. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. We pretty much grinded all day from morning until like it's sun's going down. And so we got to get home and grab some food and we're gonna be out here again tomorrow. So I'm not sure if we're going to this river or if we're going to a different river system, but either way, we're gonna get out here and see if we can get a steelhead again tomorrow. So we'll see you guys next time on another Oregon fishing adventure. Peace.